gonna show you some simple moves to beat defenders that aggressively go for the basketball. So we've all dealt with these pesky defenders that like to come for this basketball. So she's gonna reach in and try to swat at that basketball, right, and try to always steal it. They're annoying, we don't like that. But actually they're giving you a big advantage if they're being really aggressive, if you know how to handle it, which I'm gonna show you how to do in this video, and you'll be able to get a lot of scoring opportunities, assists, all that stuff and they'll think twice about ever playing that aggressive defense and trying to go for the basketball instead, and they might give you a little extra space to work with, okay? So, if I got a defender that I know, like, especially they're like going for the basketball on a certain side, you kinda wanna pay attention to that visually, like what they're doing. Like if I'm doing crossovers, you know, usually defenders are gonna either wait on the crossover down low, but then sometimes they'll just get those defenders, they'll really like to wait for the basketball to kinda get up into this pocket area by your hip. And if you got a defender that does that, this is the perfect thing to do. So, there's two ways you can do this setup for this move. The first way is if you've got a really aggressive defender that really gets after it, I want to pivot back and bring back that same side foot as the hand that's dribbling the basketball to give myself a little room to work with and also continue to bait her to go for the basketball some more. If I got a defender that's kind of like aggressive but like I want to be the one that initiates this so like I'm not putting them in control, I can step with my opposite foot in towards them. But you'll notice in both these, I'm trying to bring the basketball further away, right? Even though I'm stepping in, the basketball's further away. Or I can pivot back and now the basketball's further away. So as she comes through this basketball, all I'm gonna do is whoop, pop it behind the back. So as you're pulling that ball back, just get a good read on your defender. And from there, it's gonna be pretty easy to just keep that motion, because you pulled it back here, and then keep that motion coming back, and then come here. So that way, when she really is going for that basketball, I really got her beat. From there, one thing you wanna keep in mind is sometimes you're gonna get defenders that as I come here, she's gonna try to come from behind me and go for the basketball. So in that situation, you gotta have a couple things ready. And, this, and that can happen really from any move when you got certain defenders, they'll try to steal the ball from behind, right? So when I come here, I can come here and then I can just get down low here and give her a little bump with my butt. So what I can do from that is, as I come here, boom, my stop down low, she thinks I'm gonna keep going, she runs right into me, sometimes we'll get a fall call on the defender. And at the very least, it puts me in a position where I can now kind of keep her in control where she can't get to the basketball and I'm still in a position to attack, see the court. Kyrie Irving and Chris Paul are both masters of this. The other option I have is if she comes here and tries to go for the basketball here, I can just cross over immediately after I beat her. So that way, as she tries to come for the basketball over here on this side, see you later, right? As she's reaching there, it's gonna make her look foolish. She's doing circles around me, and I'm gonna be able to get to the hoop while she tries to do that behind the back steal on me. So some defenders, though, they're smart, right? If I come here and I go behind the back, she's gonna jump right back in front of me and try to stop me, right? So what do we do in those situations? Well, there's a couple things you can do depending on your body positioning, and these are all things you should definitely practice, like rep them out because they will come in handy. So if I come here, I pull back, I go behind the back, she jumps here. My first option that's really quick is you'll notice where my leg is and the ball is, I can just push it right through. Big thing is though, I wanna make sure I get that angle kinda of to the side so she can't really squat at the basketball and I get it out here and then I can step through and seal her. So all together that would look something like this. Boom, 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 okay? Another option, if you keep your body a little more squared from that behind the back. So I come here, I go behind the back, boom go into another behind the back. So all I would want to do for that is focus on, as I get the ball here, bring this foot back forward that I just pulled back. So now I can go into that behind the back. That gives me protection over the basketball. A 
Couple different things you can do with that behind the back, that second one. If I, she jumps in front of me, I can either pound it more sideways here to get a read and see what my options are. Like if, let's say for some reason, I come here and I do this and she jumps back really far, I can maybe go into a jump shot. But if I come from this and she's still over there, I can drop, right? I can make that read. Or if I come here, and for whatever reason she jumps really far to this side and that second behind the back, I could go and do another counter move. So it squares me up to kind of make that extra movement and do another sort of a crossover, you know, another curve behind the back, a regular crossover, whatever the case may be. So real quick look at that with the regular crossover, just to keep things a little more basic. So I come here, 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 she jumps, boom, I can come back that way. So this third option is really good for defenders that play a little bit more aggressive and like to stay up in your space a little bit more. So as I pull back here, she goes for the ball, I come here, boom. As I'm coming this way, if she's still trying to haul me and comes to this side, I'm gonna take one more regular dribble and turn my body back this way by stepping in with the opposite foot. So let's just run back through everything with the footwork to make sure you got it right. So stepping either back with this foot or stepping forward like we talked about, going behind the back, bringing the opposite foot now forward, okay? So I'm gonna be basically turning from this way to now turning this way, okay? So here, here, and then if she's still trying to get up in my space, boom, I can roll off of her with a spin move. So the only thing you wanna pay attention to with that is if you've got your body here, you know, you take that regular dribble, take a step and make it look like you're gonna to try to attack this way, that'll kind of put you in a position now to go into that spin. The other thing you wanna pay attention to is that you get the hand on the front of the ball so now I can pull it back more quickly into that spin, roll right off of her. And I can seal her and use all those other options we talked about earlier, like after I got past her, she comes to the basketball hard here, and then I went into this drive, you know, I can bump her, I can cross over, all that stuff. Now obviously to make these things work, you've got to have some handles to do them, right? You've got to get the footwork down, the athleticism, and of course the ball control. Well, I got a free workout pinned to the top comment down below that you can get. It's already helped thousands of players. I'm sure it'll help you. It'll help with all three of those things that you need. And again, it's free, so why not get it? And in that comment, I will also have a playlist with different moves that you can use as counter moves for these. And you can use those if for some reason maybe your defender's reacting to even these moves, which you should be able to beat them pretty much every time if you're doing things the right way. But if you need an extra counter move, those moves are perfect. Perfect. and you can use those as setups so defenders don't see these moves coming. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you can catch the newest videos the second they come out and keep improving that game. I'll see you in that free workout and that playlist that I'll have pinned to the comment. Make moves today.